My experience is, well, let me show you the video. Let me tell you a tale about this time that this guy stole my bicycle. There is this argument that, well, it's not really an argument except weird nerds like me. If you add light to an area, does that area become more secure? Because when you add light, you can see people doing bad things, so people be, will be dissuaded from doing bad things. Or does it become less secure? Because now people doing bad things can see things that they can do bad to. And they can see while they do the bad things. I fall on one square side of this, and that is, it is definitively that when you add light to an otherwise dark area, it makes people do bad things. It increases crime. It makes things worse. I don't have statistics to give you for this because it's not something that is really studied, but there are internet arguments in dark corners of the internet all the time about this particular topic. My experience is, well, let me show you the video. Yeah, that happened. That really happened. You might be wondering, well, <laughs> this was night vision. You've got this security camera. It's clearly got night vision. The guy's face was just blasted with light coming from your night vision camera. What are you talking about? Obviously, it was way too dark for him to see anything. I mean, he didn't even see the camera right there in front of him. And that's where you're kind of wrong. You see, the neighbors a few years prior installed this gigantic LED street light in their driveway and it pissed me off because I filmed a bunch of short films in my front and backyards particularly at night and I used the darkness so that the light that I had was more useful it was a lot easier to do things when I had full control of the lighting then the neighbors put in the airplane beacon in the next yard and all of a sudden, with the exception of the unfortunately useless shadow that was cast by their house, because it was on the opposite side of the house. Yeah. Slow shutter, but look. Look. Look at how bright it is. It's crazy. All my yards were completely full of this residual light that really should have been in their driveway only, but it spilled all over everything. I could see in my yards at night, no problem, walk around like it was daylight. And no, it wasn't that bright, but it definitely was bright enough. It was bright enough for that guy walking by to see that I had bicycles in my carport and take the opportunity on Christmas Eve, no less, to go up to the carport check the bikes, and snag one and ride away with it. Could he have done that if it was dark without that giant beacon in the other yard? How was he able to see the bikes? How was he able to see to know where the bikes were oriented, how to check them, and so on? It's because the spillage, even though there's no direct light in the shadow of that thing, the spillage alone was enough to see everything from the yard. I pulled in one day about a week or two ago, and the light was gone. It was night, and I couldn't see, and I was surprised. But sure enough, for the past couple of weeks, I haven't had any of that light spillage because none of the lights that they added over there have been working anymore. So now I'm a lot less worried about the possibility that someone will see something in my, <laughs> admittedly, now kind of emptied out of anything of value, carport, and snag it. Yes, I live in an area that's generally safe enough, I, in like, what, 15 years? I haven't had to worry about anybody stealing anything out of my carport. And yet, the one time it happens is when it's dark outside, but there's just enough light from that giant stupid beacon to make this guy come in there and snag something opportunistically that he couldn't have seen otherwise. When you add light to a dark area and you think you're securing things, you're really just putting light there for the criminals to be able to see something to criminalize. I talk to business owners, I'm like, you leave your lights on at night? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, that way the cops can see if somebody's broken in. And I'm like, but if somebody breaks in, and the lights are all on, now they can get in and out quickly. Now there's no indication that anything's wrong if the cops drive by and see the lights on. 
The criminal's gonna have to turn on some kind of light or beam a flashlight or whatever to see what they're doing. There's just this inbuilt assumption across society that lighting equals safety. The lights even have the name security lights. Granted, if you have an on-call or on-duty security guard 24-7 looking at your stuff under these lights and watching them all the time, the security guard can see stuff because of the lights. Okay, maybe in that regard it could be a security light. But more often than not, you're not around. The light is enough to give the criminal some way to get in and out quickly and not trip over anything or make any noise or set anything off. You're really just shooting yourself in the foot with your so-called security lighting. So what would be better? Well, I actually have a proposal. If you want a true security light, what you need is something that will allow the criminal to know that they've been spotted, that their movement has triggered some kind of response, but not grant them the lighting that they need to be able to continue with the crime. So my suggestion is a motion-activated strobe of some sort, something that fires off just long enough to trip them up, to make them go, oh crap, there's this big old flash of light, or a, a loud noise or something, and oh my god, somebody's spotted that I'm out here, but now I can't see, what am I going to do? It has the added bonus effect of if it's a dark area, and you blast a big strobe and just cut it off, well now they can't see at all, you've nuked their night vision for a little while, plus you freaked them out. You're not an easy target, they're going to go elsewhere. The vast majority of crime is opportunistic. You're not a very good thing to opportunistically criminalize because you flashed them. That's kind of funny to think about. Anyway, I hope this has been educational. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Take care.